Okay, this next question, we're going to take a look at doc stamps and how they are factored in. And we're going to, in this case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to find the purchase price. So let's go ahead and look at this question. We're going to see something very similar on the state test. The numbers might be a little bit different, might be worded a little bit different, but it's going to be very similar. The following taxes were paid at the closing of a new home, $1,540 in doc stamps on the deed, okay? $693 state doc stamps on the note and 396 state intangible tax on the mortgage. So what we want to do here is we're just trying to determine what is the purchase price. Okay, what was the purchase price? That's all we want to find out in this question. So all these these other two, you can kind of get rid of them. Okay, we don't really need to worry about those right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and give uh, take a look at what answers they're going to give you or options are going to give you for answers. Um, the first one, A, is 198000 B is 220,000, C is 346,000, or D is 440,000, okay? To find these out, it's real easy. I like to go through each one of them and figure them out um, and use the, uh, basically, a process of elimination. Uh, there's a lot easier ways to figure out these answers um, if you want to do a, a couple different divisions and multiplications, but if we kind of stay with the consistent rule each time when we answer them, especially for the test, let's go ahead and make sure we stay with it. This very first one, let's just take a look and and um, figure this out. But first, let's go ahead with the what we're trying to do here. Remember, the question is only asking you to find the purchase price. Don't get wrapped up around all the other stuff. All you will need to do is divide, okay, each perspective answer by 100. Now remember, these are going to be even numbers. If it's something that um, is odd, you're going to have to round it up to the uh, one higher. Um, and then all you'll do in this case is you're going to multiply it by 0 0.70. So let's take a look at the first one. If we take the very first one here and we go ahead and we take 198, 198,000 divided by 100 gives us 1,980. And all we want to do is we want to multiply that by 0.70. Remember, doc stamps, we want to do 0.70, okay? And if we do that, we're going to end up with $1,386. Well, we know that's not 1540, okay? We know that's not the case. So we know that is going to be an incorrect answer. So it's not going to be, the purchase price is not going to be 198000 Okay, let's take a look at the second one. Okay, if we look at that, we take $220,000. Remember, we divide it by 100 because we want parts of that. We have to pay doc stamps 70 cents on the parts of the 220. We take that and that gives us $2,200. And we want to multiply that by 0 0.70. And that equals 1540. Wow, looks very familiar. 1540. And if you look up under here, it's 1540. That is the answer that they are looking for. So it's looking like this is going to be the answer. The $220,000 is going to be the purchase price of that home. It's going to be the $220,000. But like I want you to do on the test is I want you to go ahead and work through all of them and just eliminate those. Okay, just work through them all and eliminate them. Okay, and the next one we're going to look at $346,000 divided by 100 equals $3,460. And we want to, again, times it by 70. And that's going to equal 2422, 2422. We know that is not going to be the answer. So we can eliminate this one, this one, and let's go ahead with the last one and see what that comes out to. Again, I like working through these all um, on the test, especially if you have enough time. Um, just it makes you feel a little bit more confident if you go through them. Okay, this next one we want to take again. We're trying to find the doc stamps or the purchase price on this. So we take this one, the four hundred forty thousand. We divide it by one hundred. It gives us four thousand four hundred, and we multiply that by seventy, which ends up being three thousand and eighty dollars. Er, that's not going to be the right one. So let's go ahead and just X that out. So we'd be able to eliminate 
these three and we know that the $220,000 is going to be the purchase price. And again, that's all they're looking for. Don't get too worried about all the other ones.